don't ever stop And we coming to your spot So you better fucking run huh? Yeah, yeah We just coming after you for fun huh? Yeah, yeah No, no conversation with no bun huh? Yeah, yeah Kamikaze, I'd advise to run Can't compare me to nobody Yo, what a Yo, what a doing, ladies crew? Welcome back to another banger Rise of a star And today I got a new guest on the show, man we got someone that's on the up and coming, that boy of the rise of being a star. We got that boy, Dr. Giggle Touch on this bitch. Let me know what's up, gang. Yo, NLH Media. I fucking lose hope. You know what's up, man. How's your day going so far? Everything been smooth? It's good. It's good. Better that I'm here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Been having a good day so far. Did some productive video editing this morning. Did some filming today, and I'm back on it. The grind just don't stop. Me too, me too. Just don't grind stop. never stops. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Keep it like that. All right. Yes, sir. It's going to be a banger interview, man. Be ready. Pleasure having you on the channel. So without any further ado, we're jumping right into this shit. Question number one. Sounds good. Now, let us know how'd you come up with the iconic name, Dr. Giggle Touch. <laughs> Okay, so this was like long ago, long, long ago. It was it was like maybe the night before I even made this account to be a producer. My friend and I were just chilling up and night. We were messing around with like a random name generator. And like it came up with the name Giggle Touch, like somehow. I don't know how how the fuck that shit came up, but like, oh it did. God. And like, we were just like laughing about that. I thought nothing of it. I didn't even think I was ever going to use that for anything. And then at the time I was making these beats and okay. I was posting them on another like personal account I had. Right. And that personal account was not doing well at all. I would get like 16 likes for the effort I was putting in for those, those terrible beats. But Type like, shit. then I decided to make a new account. I was going to have that new account as my personal name too, but I remember Giggle Touch and I, I don't know what, what made me decide to put doctor in front of that shit, but I loved it. <laughs> and like, I was actually, I was going to change it because I thought it was stupid at first, but like people started being like, yo, that's like a crazy ass name. So I was like, it is a crazy you know, ass like, name. It's like, you know, Miles. <laughs> I mean, you exactly, don't know Miles. Exactly. Man. I do know, you know, Miles. <laughs> Uh, okay. you know, he, yeah, he's, he's, he's my bro. That's gang. That's bro. No, that's your twizzy. No yeet. Yeah, bro. We got another collab in the works. Um, wait, y'all collab before? Oh shit. Yes, we did. Bro, uh, bro, 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 bro. I can't wait for the next one. I got to hear the first one after I'm done with this, but damn. You know what? The first one, he reached out to me and I was like freaking out at the time because I was like, not really much at the time. But then I I made a beat for him and he rapped on that. We dropped it and it's like on my platforms. And then God, this is now like now that I'm rapping too, I have an actual like rap song with him on the way. Okay, okay, so, okay. Now hopefully that comes out soon. What in your opinion is the craziest comment that you ever gotten on one of your tracks? I mean on one of your beats on your Instagram. Cause bro, the way I found you was I found the one where it was like this beat sounds like the shoe. And it's someone said the British is coming ah beat. Like oh great heavens type beat. <laughs> what is the funniest shit that you looked at and you were like, damn, bro? Cause that's the funniest You know movie. what? I think the great like not even the funniest just by far like the actual craziest shit someone has ever commented was i want to have your kids or like i want my daughter to marry you wait i saw like, one someone two actually words, like, this... took their time to comment that bro or i, I think i saw one to her side this beat giggle touched me inappropriately i was like what the fuck Bro, you know what? That shit is like that shit is literally normal to me. Like I will skim over those comments now. This I get like hundreds of DMs every day saying, "No, no, no." You know what? I'm sorry, bro. bro We're in the middle of the hundreds. interview. I'm gonna click. I'm gonna go on a random one, and I'm gonna like. I'm just gonna find like a crazy comment. Let's go on the. Uh, uh, All right, bro. Uh, do it. This rage one right here. This is considered a rage beat. Solve the riddle. Ah, uh, melody. One of these days, Dr. Giggle Touch will actually cook and then we'll all be surprised. Don't get caught as beat. 
Soundtrack of Queso Walking. Okay, bro. Yeah. How do you skim past that? You know what, bro? Skim past those. No, nah, like those those are funny to me, but the ones where it's like, yo, I'm gonna touch you, like I literally get hundreds of DMs saying that shit every day. Like from from boys and girls and everyone. Like oh it's crazy. God. It's very disturbing. No, I, I guess that just comes with the name, right? I guess it, but, it, um, it is yeah, what it you know is. What? All those comments, like the ones that, that are like ad beat, ad this is an ad beat, like it's it's almost like the video is setting it up for fans to be interactive and comment like that and that just makes it all the more interesting that's facts that's factual now would you put yourself in the same section a same lane as you know miles as like a meme rapper or like meme producer type shit or you don't really put yourself in no category I would say I wouldn't put myself in any category at the moment because like I don't take any of this shit seriously like this is all for fun I don't make a single dollar off this besides the merchandise any content I make is just me doing it for me and for for my fans and whoever wait what you're me. telling me that these reels that garner thousands upon thousands and millions upon millions not a single dollar not a single dollar has come from any of that bro only merch only merch holders wait not even the youtube shit either like bro you have the um the subscriber count you have the um oh i think it's because you don't have the watch time because that's like a fairly recent account right? yeah i can't even i can't monetize my channel yet no but, but like if I mean, you we'll keep doing future, it i feel like you can though because bro i'm struggling we'll to do it and we'll i'm see. actually like i'm actually getting to it bro like i've been at this for about like a couple years and I'm just hitting like 1400 hours of watch time. I'm just hitting it now. Yeah, bro. It's hard. It's hard to do, bro. They got they got like big, like high standards for, for getting paid on YouTube now. But to answer your question, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. I wouldn't put myself in the same category as mm -hmm. you know Miles, because what you know Miles does is like genuinely like part of his career, mm -hmm. which is very respectable. I appreciate him in every way. I think he's so dope, but like I'm not trying to be the next, you know, Miles, you know, I'm not trying nah. to be him. Like, I'm just trying to be myself. Be but I also okay. want to, you know, work with him in the future and stuff. But like, just doing my own thing. Yes. Okay. 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 So just res being respectful to him in that way, you know? Okay. Respect, respect, respect. Would you ever consider taking music seriously? Or like you said before, you're just doing it for the hell of it for now. You know what? If I was good at music, I would take it seriously, but I'm good at being bad. So I'm going to just continue yes. to be bad and continue to uh, always strive to get worse so that uh, I can just, you know, gain some more popularity. That's all I'm aiming for, bro. Just having fun. Man. Okay. So I don't see any any real career in music. Um, I definitely want to go into film production someday since I'm at college here. Um, so that would be my real career. Okay. So until then, you know, it's just for fun respect respect would you feel that that would like kind of defer you from actually getting a job in that field because they're gonna be like oh wait th isn't this dr giggle touch <laughs> or you don't think that's gonna <laughs> matter what, bro? Right? i don't even think it's gonna matter honestly if anything it'll just help yeah that's what i <laughs> in the film too. industry it's not like i'm going into like business you know what i mean like, oh no no no, no. if you went into business yeah i'm sorry bro you're cut that's it you, there's no coming back from that. especially <laughs> that's the <laughs> that's the best bro i never No, like bro if business. you want to be nah, the ceo fuck a regular wanna, job bro like, yeah exactly exactly like bro if you want to own job. like a pepsi company or some shit, they're gonna be like bro your doctor giggle touch get the fuck out you're never <laughs> gonna do it <laughs> bro I'm already resigned from every actual normal job, bro. Hell yeah. I got to keep this bro. mask on. Respect, respect, respect. Now, where would you see yourself <laughs> in the next three years time? You know, like, like I said, since I'm in college in the next three years, I see myself, you know, graduating, eventually finding a job in the film industry. And I mean, who knows we'll, we'll see where this guy i mean tiktok's like about to get banned and stuff i mean we'll see i what saw that i don't Google even touch. understand like what is the purpose of that so all i can say is who knows what will be around by then so 
until then, I can't even determine what's going to happen with this. But as as far as my personal career goes, mm. I know what I'm going to do. Okay. Now, would you be willing to say, like, are you a freshman in college? Are you a sophomore in college? You can't refer to that information either. I, I'm a freshman in college. I'm 18, yes. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, no I, yes. I know. I know. But that's good, though. So yeah. within the next three nah, years. Yeah. Nah, you could do what I did, though. If you want to finish, like, quicker. If I, This is my personal recommendation. I went to college, and I finished in about three and a half years, right? But what I ended up doing was I took... I took a summer class my freshman year. Then my sophomore year, I took a winter class. Junior year, I just did whatever. And then senior year, I just did like a little winter class. Just get it out the way. Because that way you can get your credits out the way faster. And you're only taking like one or two classes in that time span anyway. Like, let's be real. What are you really doing over the winter? Really nothing, right? So what's one or two classes going to kill? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to get all my all my classes out the way as fast as I can. So I can just yeah, exactly. That's just my personal recommendation because I did that. Yeah. I did about four classes. So I was, uh, I don't know what's considered full time for you guys where you're located at. Like, what's considered a full time student? Like, what four or five classes? Yeah, yeah, like four or five classes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. So that's right what now, I did. So. Uh huh. But I had to balance it out. I was yep. try- over here doing Monday to Thursday doing that. And then I was working Friday to Saturday and I gave myself one day off. But with you, you might be able just to get away with not having to work an actual job since you don't, since you can't. And like, you're still, get- <laughs> you're still getting bread either way, though. You're still getting bread either way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hope so. <laughs> Has someone ever considered like buying one of your beats and actually doing something with it? Because, bro, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to shout him out. Shout out my boy off the dome cam. We found one of your shits and he was freestyling on that bitch. I'm like, bro, are you really freestyling on this <laughs> oofy ah, B? I'm like, bro, this That's shit's fine. actually hard. Like, I would actually like make a track to this. Like, not to put out publicly, but like just to actually just just to try it. Just to try it. You know what? I get DMs like every day of people asking me like how much for your beat. I'm not trying to sell that shit to anybody. Like, it, I, I don't take it that seriously that I feel like I need, need to sell my beats to people, especially when I hit them up with a price and then they're like, okay, never mind. No, I feel like you should <laughs> so, like, sell it, but do like a cheap price. Do something like I right, two beats for like ten dollars or something. I don't know. Like, do like a yeah, small yeah. price. Do something like, really, really small. Because on my I was all thinking time, about. I was thinking about doing like a challenge someday. Like eventually I'm gonna make a beat and put it out there and be like, yo, like everyone get on this beat and like the best person or like the best song that someone makes with it gets like a repost, gets like put up, you know what I mean? Mm. Just to get get some like a lot of people on that at once. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now what so would I was you thinking say- about doing something like that eventually? Oh, bet that, bet that. What would you say is your marketing strategy when it comes to your uh your presence on social media? What's your strategy when it comes to marketing? I get a lot. <laughs> I get asked this a lot. So like honestly, my friends just say I have it figured out and that's really just the answer because there's no actual there's no algorithm to follow on on social media platforms like TikTok and Instagram like they it's constantly changing like no one can keep up keep up with that at all. The best thing you can do is market yourself from other perspectives and other points of view. Like the captions that I say, like, yo, bro did this, bro did that. Like, mm-hmm. it's almost like when you're talking from another perspective, it's like someone telling someone else that someone did this instead of saying, yo, look what I did. It's like someone telling somebody else, look what this kid did, drawing more attention to it. That's the best way I can put it with captions. And then as far as it goes with hashtags, you know, I just use like five or six. That's like the max I would use. And it's just like a few relating to the video and a few just trending ones. And after that, it's pretty much just up to your luck. Like it just takes a lot of time and and effort and you got to be posting consistently and and constantly. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I was about to say, too. It's mainly just consistency that matters at the end of the day. It's it's really consistency that it comes. Everything comes down to consistency and and hard work. I mean, 
even though I put like low effort into the beats, it still takes time out of my day to make a lot of beats, post a lot of beats, and then post extra content outside of the beats while balancing schoolwork and the rest of my life. It's a one man job. So like everything I do is just me. I don't have, I don't have any team. I don't have any management, nothing like that. Like, oh no, yeah, that's tragic. That's hard. I'm thankful now that I was able to create a small team that I got now. I got my boy who does my little graphic design thing from time to time. Shout out my boy, Blade. Yeah. Shout out my dog. So it's kind of good. Even if it's just one person, and even if you could build like a small group of people, like a couple friends that you can trust and are down for the yeah. long run, that's good. But then eventually you got to learn how to do stuff on your own. Like, bro, I do all this shit by myself. For this shit by myself. Yeah. Edited by myself. Graph design by exactly. myself from time to time. And low key... I wouldn't want anyone else to do it but me because like i know what i want for my my account and what i want to post and what i want to you know what i mean like i want that personal feeling it still but That's i wouldn't fair. mind having a few people to manage accounts and stuff eventually respect if respect. it gets to that point now how do you deal with the hate regarding the content that you do because then the, obviously with the lane that you didn't chose but the lane that you're in you're gonna get a lot of hate but then you're gonna get hate with anything <laughs> that you that so how do you deal with this <laughs> okay so i don't none of that shit really even bothers me like i don't any of the hate i get is really just i take that as a joke because like i i'm literally a walking joke like my life is a joke right now so like if you hate me like then you love me too because you still i'm still like you still looking at all my, my posts and stuff so you know <laughs> I guess I all no that shit thing is bad for this or yeah, that point. No, no, not at all. I don't even care, bro. I don't take any of this shit seriously enough to let hate get to me at all. Word, word. Now, so. who would you say are your musical inspirations? <laughs> so, I mean, you know, I got like theories. Like, I love, I love music. Like, regardless of what I make, I appreciate music like all different types of music i love i'm a very musical person i mean i really like like opium i love you know cardi and ken carson and alone and homicide gang and all of them like that, that's like my top group i like trippy red a lot like those are all my not i wouldn't say inspirations but th those are people i listen to all the time as far as making music goes i mean i didn't i wasn't really inspired by anyone to start beats like people said that i was copying like young chastity cage and like victor maya and all like the og producers but like i didn't even really know who they were i just made the account like i just had seen a few like beat videos before and thought it was funny and started <laughs> making that so that's literally it <laughs> fair enough fair enough now how did you come up with the legendary Producer tag. <laughs> Dr. Giggle Touch. Yeah, Dr. Giggle Touch. <laughs> How did that come into that, creation? That shit was the most zero effort thing I have ever done. Because I didn't think that was going to be iconic at all. I didn't even have a producer tag when I made the account. I literally just found a like a basic fart sound, a basic throw up sound and pieces together with a TikTok AI voice thinking it was funny and then made a video saying like, yo, I just dropped out or I quit my job and here's my producer tag and that shit blew up like instantly and then it became iconic. So like, I will never change it. So but like literally stupid. there was no thought process behind that. Like I literally just was being stupid and made that shit. Like that's it. That's fucking hilarious. It's hilarious. Like, bro, it's the <laughs> stupid shit that you would not think would work. Exactly. It's always that. Like, you could put so much effort into a video and it'll get nothing in return. It's the minute you put zero effort into something, it's going to blow up. It's just how, like, social media works now. It's like, crazy. Bro, like, bro, let me explain you a small story. Like, okay, so I take these interviews, like, seriously. Like, bro, I go crazy. I go ham. I put so much effort, so much pain, so much suffering. And some of them, they perform well. It gets the job done, right? But then there was this one video where I, I reviewed... I reviewed Lena the Plug, Adam 22's wife's OnlyFans. That bitch went off for like 1.3 thousand views. I'm like, bro, what? I didn't even take this seriously. That was just dicking around. <laughs> bro, and that's the one that goes It's on. always... 
It's always how it goes. It's always the dumb content. Exactly. That's what people like now. Exactly. People don't care about effort. People don't have the attention span for that anymore. Exactly, which blows. You kind of have to go with what you have to go with the grain of what the audience wants, instead of against the grain of what you actually want to make from time to time. Exactly. That's why you just got to mix the low effort with the good effort. Word. That's how you get a good uh, product out of it. Yeah. Now, what are your thoughts on how well the felony freestyle has been performing? Because within the past 10 days or so, it's at about like, what, over 10K views, over a thousand likes? Yeah, yeah. Last I checked, it was at like 15K views on YouTube, which is great for YouTube. That's crazy considering I made that account like a month ago. Um, as far as TikTok goes, I think I got like a million like 1.5 million views on there which is great too god damn i wasn't expecting that much i wasn't expecting that much in return for like an actual song like that like i knew that shit was funny from the start that's why i decided to uh it's giggle touch to bitch. use it for giggle touch because uh, my friend and i made that song before giggle touch was even a thing and i just added a few things in to make it giggle touch and then we dropped it so that's why it's not my original beat because the beat just flowed so well with the song, I didn't want to change it. Mm. But it was perfect how it was. But yeah, it's definitely doing well. It's definitely doing well. And I'm, I got some more songs on the way for sure. Oh, no. Some more rap songs. Oh, no. <laughs> Would you ever consider dropping a Giggle Touch album? Would that be ever be considered for the works? I don't know, because... With the uh, again going back to like the attention span people have today, like no one gives a shit about like long ass things like that anymore, unless it's a serious artist. So like, if I feel that I will actually get an actual decent number in return for that, maybe I would do it. Otherwise, I'm gonna just drop singles and things that feed to to my audience attention span. It wouldn't kill to actual artists put up but, a poll or put up a little community post and be like, "Yo, would y'all actually stream a Giggle Touch little EP?" So I'm yeah, like, a you tape, know, I'm always, like a four I'm track to, tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always down to do whatever my fans want because that's at the end of the day, that's all I'm doing this for is the fans. So like, yes, and sir. the people who enjoy watching my shit. So whatever they want. But as far as as far as music goes, I don't really know. How much people like my actual rap songs yet because i only dropped one and it wasn't even on my own beat so like i'm gonna draw more that are actually on my own beat and then see how that would how, how that goes and, and see if i want to do a full album or an ep like that say that say that and now for the last question what are the plans for the rest of the year moving forward because we're one third we're one fourth of the year of the way going into the year so what's going to happen for the rest of the year for dr google touch you know what? I can't even. I couldn't even tell you, bro. Because like, I understand three years is too far, but we still got the rest of this year. Two months, literally two months into the year, and I'm already at what I thought would be the peak of everything in in the career of Giggle Touch. But I I don't know if it is. I don't know if it's not. All I can say is I just got a, a bunch of cool projects lined up so far that are on the way. And um, I'm sure my content will begin to evolve a little bit into new stuff. And we'll see how my fans like that and how they don't. And just move on from there. I just take it one day at a time. I don't really, I don't have too many, too many future things lined up. Just a few. And we'll just, once I get returned for one, then I move to the next thing, you know? I bet that, bet that, bet that. And now... This is something I like to do with all my artists, all my people who come through to the channel. If you feel comfortable with doing right. it, would you be willing to uh, tell the audience um, any inspiration, any advice about never losing hope and just keep pushing to keep per perceiving and try to chase your dreams no matter what? Of course, bro. I'm all about motivation. I'm all about inspirational stuff. You know, I'm not just a, a guy behind the screen making beats. I'm a person too, just like you. And, um, you know, just never give up on this shit you do, because as long as you put hard work into what you do, you will get something good in return. And that's why I'm at where I am right now, because I put hard work into stupid shit like this and I get stupid things in return. But you might not have the same story as me, but whatever you're working at, bro, you can do it. Just put your mind to it. 
Yes. Bolton, also, sir. Oh yeah, I was about to say plug in the merch. Plug in the merch, the merch bro. Link in bio. Link in bio. Get yourself one of these ugly ass tees, bro. Get yourself a doctor. Promise Giggle you get touch all the tees. girls, bro. <laughs> you finna all get the girls. Oh god. Oh shit. <laughs> And with all that being said, I was going <laughs> to conclude another banger rise of a fucking star. Shout out my dog, Dr. Giggle Touch, for coming through, man. I'm going to put his link to yes, his YouTube description down below. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Always helps the channel out. Yeah, any last second thoughts you want to tell the gang, Dr. Giggle Touch, before we conclude? Merch link in bio. Merch link in bio. Bet, I'm going to put the merch <laughs> link in there, too. I've got that. I'm going to put the merch in there, too. If you made it through the end video, Let's comment down go. below, triple L, because you know we always living like Larry. With all that being said, Sentinel H, never lose so be when all hope is lost. And I'm finna catch all y'all in the next one. Peace. Jack! Before I had this fame, before I had these chains, before I had this money, before I made it rain, I was just a young kid on the block. Never had my mom, I was lost.